Lord, I pray that the time we have now left, all that you want to do, you will do in our life, and you will visit us mightily. Lord, every Monday like this, you have something special and unique you want to work and accomplish in our lives. But Lord, we pray today will not be an exception. Spirit of the living God, you lead us aright, and you do something unimaginable. Thank you for the way you lead us last. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. because we have testimony already that will be rushing in. Amen. Thank you because none of our pastors will be serving you in sorrow, in pain, in agony, Amen. and tears. Amen. Thank you Amen. because our members, Lord God, you are also visiting. Thank you, Lord, oh, yes. because you will not Wash. forget our labor of love. Thank you because Pray. all of yeah. these prayers, there will be dividends, there will be reward, and Lord, there will be really, really remuneration that will come to everyone. Faithfully serving, faithfully doing your will. We glorify your name because we know you have answered. Even your word says that they that serve you, you will honor. Thank you, honor is coming to all our pastors. Thank you, oh, yeah. honor and exaltation is coming their way. Thank you, Lord, because their children will be called blessed. Lord Amen. Jesus, I Lord, you, oh God, my Father, because even this morning, you will glorify yourself, glorify your name. Mm -hmm. Lord, in this call mm -hmm. or to on Monday, we pray, oh Lord, that today our life will become decorated with testimony, Amen. decorated Amen. With, Lord, with good things of life in Jesus' name. Amen. Spirit of the living God, have your way. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Thank in Jesus' you. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we want to begin to give thanks to God for the depth of our heart and soul. Let's begin to worship Him, giving thanks unto the Father who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of His dear Son. Shall we open our mouth and give thanks to Him? Let's honor Him. Let's praise Him. Amen. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for. Please, I'm I'm going to disconnect and reconnect again. I cannot hear us very well. Okay, sir. Father, we worship and bless you. We thanks and exalt your name for the great and wonderful things you've been doing in our lives. We say glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving be unto your name, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you for the, the, the hand upon us all the time. Thank you for your being, keeping and providing for us, protecting us, guiding us from all the arrows of the wicked. We adore your name for the great and marvelous things you'll be doing. We say glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for your promises that are yea and amen in our lives. Thank you for the fulfillment of your word. We well, thank you for our partners. Thank you for our children, the blessed children you have given unto us. Thank you for all that you have been doing, O oh Lord. We well, take glory on our God. Shall thank you, God, to your name, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. 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 Because you are God. And beside you, Lord, there is no order. My Lord, the King will worship you. My Lord, the King will bless you. My Lord, the King will respect you. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration, O God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You remember, you remember what that the unjust just says in that scripture in Luke chapter 18. He said to the, the man, the person who was making request, that's the woman, he said, uh, let a continual homage be weary me. And Jesus, who made the parable, said, hear what the unjust man said. The, the man was an unjust man, but because of the opportunity of the woman, he gave the woman whatever she wanted. You know, some people will wonder, are these people, are they jobless people? I've said that over and people sometimes I tell my youth, I tell my youth, so that they don't think that I'm a jobless man. 
and all that. Okay, you you are pastoring and all, and you are youth program, you are there, this one you are there, and tell you what is going on now. And then you are there almost every day, uh, having you know, and then I have to tell them, I am not a jobless man, I work, I do this, but look at the reason why I dedicate my Look at the reason why we prioritize you. We take you as an important thing and all that. And I have to let them know that the fact that, oh, somebody is committed and dedicated and this does not mean he's a jobless man. If we are praying every time, he does not know that we are jobless people. I told someone after the all night on Friday, some people in the morning after the all night, I said prayer is the greatest investment. The greatest investment is prayer. To so invest in prayer, you can invest in all these banks and have your reward as a shareholder. And the dividends come to you. You can you know, you know, invest in some of these stocks, invest in some of these US banks, and then you get your reward and get your dividends. But the greatest investment is the investment in the place of prayer. Watch out, watch out. All the people praying on this platform, praying sincerely. There is no way your life will be miserable. There is no way you will not be rewarded. There is no way your children will not do well in life. I'm telling us, I'm telling us, my own children are still young. And then I'm finally praying into their future. Finally praying into their future. Making sure we come to this platform and we find our prayer. We pray for them. We call upon God on their behalf. Do you think we are jobless and foolish people who don't have anything? Sometimes we sleep late. We still wake up early to pray. Does that mean we don't have anything? Now our time, no. The people who think we are jobless people, they don't understand. They don't understand that prayer is the greatest investment. This morning again, we are still going to find our prayer into heaven concerning our spouse, concerning our children. And I believe you're not tired. Tired of praying for your spouse. Tired of praying for your children. We are living in a wicked, evil war. And that's why we will guide our home and our family in the place of prayer. We want to go before the Lord this morning that heaven will hear all. God will hear all. Who will hear all? Few minutes we are spending, the Lord God will intervene in the place. The Lord will hear us of the monarch of Zion. The monarch of Zion, the name of the Lord. Oh, God will hear us this morning. Amen. Father, we come before your throne this morning. We we'll pray, O oh Lord, we know you are God that answered prayer. We thank you for even that encouragement you give to your children that they should not be weary or tired of praying because even the unjust judge finally answered the woman, said, Ah, I continue coming, she weary me. How much more will our father, which is a righteous God, the creator of heaven and earth, answer his own. O oh Lord, we exalt and worship you. We bless and reference you. We give you glory because you are God. We give you honor because you are God. We thank you because we know you will answer us concerning our wives, concerning our children. You will do that with Amen. Amen. I want to pray. I told us about praying as an investment. With the first set of prayer, we're praying for our children. Number one, we're going to ask the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus that they will not be kidnapped by evil men and women. I now, yeah. now let me, what's this? let me tell you this. You are not praying as a way of being offensive, uh, as a way of being defensive, rather. Uh, yes, I told them this in the in last Friday all night concerning GCK. I, I, you know, some people, because of the, they, they have not seen the way enemy attack and the way the devil mesmerize people. And so when you come for warfare prayer, they don't, they say, this is a Bible church, and they don't even like warfare prayer. When you are taking warfare prayer, they just pray like gentleman people, as if they are already in heaven, as if they have entered paradise already. They don't know life is battle, life is full of war and battle. Mm -hmm. And they don't understand. 
They don't understand. Even when you are not looking for anybody trouble, there are powers of darkness. The father, you and your wife, you are together, you are enjoying life. They are angry. The father, you, they see you in church, they see you moving around, and you are living fine, and all that, they are angry. They are just unhappy. Or maybe you even post your wife, or oh, say, oh, bless God for my wife, and they, they may even click like, they may click comment, and yet inside their heart, they just mm -hmm. wish that that woman died. There are evil men, though. There are evil women. They may be in the neighborhood. They may be anywhere. This is why we protect and we guide our life through prayer. This is why we must not be careless or carnal or cold or lukewarm at any time. There are powers everywhere. We want to go before God now in the name of Jesus. The internal God will secure my children. The internal God will be their okay. God. Preserve our children, O Lord. Preserve our children, O Lord. Father, we pray that they will not go and walk for evil men. That we use that they will not fall into association of evil people. That we lead them to uh, all this evil acting happening in the world. Father, preserve them, O Lord, and keep them under your protection and your power, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, we commit us to the Lord. We stand upon the Holy Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm telling you something, pastors and leaders. I'm telling you something. The level of wickedness in Nigeria is terrific. I am telling you, I am telling you how much the devil is going here and there. I want to cry unto God now. Let mm -hmm. me read the piece. Let me read the scripture. Let me read mm -hmm. so that we see it clearly in Isaiah 54. Look at scripture of truth. Look at what God say. Mm -hmm. My children shall be far from the question. Mommy, daddy, you will mm -hmm. not be running because of your children. Amen. It will not be God. You will receive it. God. Oh, he has been kidnapped. God forbid. No power will kidnap my child. No power will kidnap my child. In the name of my wife, my children, oh to them. Let me read it for you. Let me read the promise. Let me read the promise. Let me take a promise. As I have 54, very quickly. As I have 54, I'm taking it from verse 14. As I have 54, in righteousness shall thou be established, thou shalt be found. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not be from terror, for it shall not come near Amen. thee. Any terror they are planning against me, any terror they are planning against my wife, any terror they are planning against me. Is that Father, ticket I come before your throne of mercy, O oh Lord. Father, you have promised and told it to us the world that so we, our so children, so ourselves, be far from they, oppression. Oh Lord, oh Lord, we pray that this world will be fulfilled in the life of my wife or fulfilled in the life of my five children. None of them will fall into oppression, oh Lord. None of them will fall into the hands of the wrong ones, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord. God. Let's talk to God in prayers. Your true, no Lord, we pray that our children will be far from oppression, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, God, there will no terror. We come before our children, Lord. We not come near our children, Lord. We not come near our families, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, for fear of what? the life of our families, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to fire prayer concerning the the home of Pastor Matthew. And I read verse 17 of that Zaya. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue rising against that, that family, God will condemn. God will condemn. God will condemn. If they rise against him in the God will condemn. If they raise can do 
God will condemn. No weapon that is formed shall prosper in the life of us. Father in heaven, we lift all Pastor Matthew's family, Lord, into your hand. For Lord, you have said in your word that no weapon that is formed against the family of Pastor Matthew are coming will prosper. We turn the right of against them will be condemned. Father in heaven, we pray, O Lord. A unity of faith that every tongue that rises up against you, Pastor Matthew, and your family, they will be condemned, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every arrow that the wicked ones are sent to, into that family, making sure that that family does not stabilize, make sure that that family does not work well, no matter what error that happens with the foundation, O oh Lord God, in our prayer. That the place of God, O Lord, remember mercy. And the place of God, O Lord, remember mercy. And have mercy upon your son and his family, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, arise. Father God, arise. On behalf of Pastor Matthew and Tomu's family, arise, O Lord, and settle this problem once and for all, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, settle this problem, Lord. Father, settle this problem, Lord. Father, settle this problem, O Lord. Father, settle this problem, O Lord. Because your promises, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Jesus' name, pray. Amen. This morning is a warfare. This morning. We are angry at every rubbish the devil is throwing at the people of God in number mm -hmm. chapter three, number chapter twenty-three, verse twenty-three. The scripture says there is no enchantment. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Surely there is no enchantment against Pastor Peter and the family. Surely there is no enchantment against Pastor Pastor Mike. No enchantment against you and your family. Surely there is no enchantment against you against everyone connected this morning. Pastor Matthew, no enchantment against you. Everyone connected this morning. Father in heaven, we come before your throne this morning. I thank you for your love, Lord. You have declared that there is no enchantment against the family of Pastor Matthew and Kofu. There is no enchantment against my family. No enchantment against the family of Pastor Mike. There is no enchantment against the pastor. The pastor is the family of Pastor Matthew. Your means, O Lord, that now we turn the point this morning, we pray that your mighty power will rise and defend every one of us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. No enchantment against us will prosper. Every power that will rise up against us in judgment, O Lord, God, in heaven, down and down alone will condemn in the name of Jesus. O Lord, shut up every evil one. That are working against a family in the name of Jesus. O Lord, I O Lord destroy every works of the enemy in our life, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we are going to our families, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I read in Psalm 11. Psalm 11, verse 2, the Bible says, For lo, the wicked bang their bow. You know bow, you know bow, they use it to fight war in those days. For lo, the wicked bang their bow. They make ready their arrow, bow and arrow. Their weapon, they used to fight war. He said the wicked, the wicked, they bang their bow, they make their uh, make ready their arrow upon the stream. Why are they doing that? Listen to this. That they may privily shoot at the upright in art. My God. It is not every art attack that is medical issue. It, some were induced from the powers of darkness. You hear a man just going on the road and he collapsed and he died. Sometimes the enemy has shot at him. Shot at his heart. Not all high blood pressure may be just issue of what you eat, what you blah, blah, blah. Well, then we find medical explanation to it. Some of them, it is the shooting of the enemy at our country. Every enemy that want to shoot at my wife at our, shoot at my children at our, my body. 
May God thou love it. May God thou love it. Every we come before your king of men. Name Jesus. No power shall shoot at my life. Because I saw that my partner. I shoot at me. I receive the power that put it on me. I know. You destroyed them this morning. You destroyed them this morning. You destroyed them this morning. In the name of Jesus, anyone that is walking day and night, say until you see evil apple to any of us. Father in heaven, we pray, O Lord, that you will have such force, O Lord, and return the arrow back to them. In the name of Jesus, return the I will back to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, you know we pray that you arise, O oh Lord, Father, in heaven, arise, O oh Lord, and destroy the works of every wicked one. I want all, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, you never glorify yourself. Father God, you never will be that you protect us, O oh Lord. All right, O oh Lord. Father, let your protection be upon us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. We're going to ask the Lord right now. If there is any of our leader or pastor or their wives having one particular threatening disease or terminal issue, and then they say, oh, he's having uh, this. And then even if there are no one having, none of us, none of us and our wife will experience anything. Amen. We will not be so, Oh, they say, oh, she's suffering for appetite B. For appetite this, God forbid appetite anything. And then they say, Oh, uh, the problem is cancer. Cancer of what? God forbid cancer. God destroy cancer. Hey, they say, Oh, I hope I can yes. Father, we come before you. Oh, bless you, Lord. I will pray for ourselves and all every member in this family in, and, and, and his partner that will come against every terminal disease. We come against every terminal disease. We come against every terminal disease. Father, in every word that say, our bodies are your temple. That is only that which you are told that will come into your temple. Every disease that are not uh, your own, Father, we decree that they will not come close us or close to any members of our families, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we raise up all our leaders before you, all our members before you. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that your protection will be upon us, O oh Lord. Your protection will be upon us, O oh Lord. Have uh, any more diseases, O Lord, we pray that you will wash them clean, O Lord, that that healing from, from Calvary will come upon them and heal them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, I have two prayer points. Prayer point number one is one of my wife's friends. Who have been having issue in a marriage and uh, we are going to pray in the name of jesus we are going to ask the lord in fact it, when you hear the story is very funny very very funny the lady now had to momentarily separate from her husband and uh, and all that and all that yes and uh, she has to do that to first save her life because i can't imagine a reasonable man putting a cutlass under the under the under the bed if, whether you want to use it on your wife or not, that's dangerous. I can't imagine a, a reasonable man saying to the wife, blood will flow, uh, maybe out of, you just say some careless, th there are no careless words. But even when you make careless words, one must be very careful. And then you save your life first. It, it, it's somebody that is alive that will first do marriage. So you have to be alive first. You have to be alive. And then, so in order not to endanger her own life and destroy her own life, she has to momentarily separate first. Uh, and yes, they talk, they converse, they do the, 
and then telling him, oh, look at this, correct this in your life, correct this and all of that. But the truth is that everyone is fed up, even the pastor of the lady fed up because they have talked to this man over and over. And this is a man that the wife is doing everything, even financially. Financially, you find this woman doing it, pay for this, pay for that. I cannot imagine. But my own is that God will intervene, correct the head of the woman, intervene in this home. Shall we talk to God in prayer? Father in the Father in heaven, we bring this our beloved sister before you. Oh Lord God, now we pray that your hand will be upon her. Father, we commit that husband, Lord, into your hand. Will show ever spirit that has entered him. That yeah, that's is right. now putting the life wife on that track. Say, Lord, we pray. Father, we pray that you will send that demonic spirit far away from that man. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that your mighty deliverance will come upon that Oh, yeah. Father, I will deliver that sister from the blood of the wicked, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, we pray every power working for time that home will come against and destroy, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, Pastor, please help us wonder as we call on Pastor Matthew. Thank you, sir. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Father, we worship and bless your name for this wonderful opportunity you gave us this morning to come before your throne of mercy. We thank you for all that we have brought before you today concerning our leader, Pastor Matthew's family, concerning ourselves, our children, concerning uh, our entire family praying that the wicked will not attack any of us no evil we capture us no evil will meet up with us you have said your word with our eyes we behold and see the reward of the wicked that a thousand will fall at our side ten thousand will fall at the other side they will not come near us father we stand on that promise this morning saying that no matter what evil is happening around us in this nation oh lord god in heaven None will come before our family members. None will come before us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, in heaven, we pray for every uh, request that we have brought before you this morning. We believe, O oh Lord, that you have answered us. Because this is the confidence we have in you, that whenever we call upon you, you hear it us. O oh Lord God, now we thank you because all that we have prayed about this morning, about our wives, about our children, about ourselves, about our leaders, about uh, everyone around us. Father, we know that you have answered us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, this young sister, we just pray for now that his uh, marriage is being threatened, that the husband is threatening, that uh, blood will flow, this will happen, that will happen. And from the testimony of our brother, even this sister is the breadwinner of the home, spending, uh, paying bills. And yeah, that husband is not appreciative. Father, in heaven we pray, whatsoever spirit has come upon that man, where they create that the power of glory, we send that spirit far away from that man. You deliver that man from the hands of the wicked, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we Amen. pray, Father, you bring him back to his senses. Father, bring him back to his senses. And let your protection be upon your daughter so that no harm will come before her in the name Amen. of Jesus. Lord, we commit this nation, Nigeria, Lord, into your hands. Father, we pray that you have mercy upon our land. All this that is happening up and down, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you help us in this nation, that this nation will not be plunged into a crisis, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, in heaven, do wonders in our lives, O oh Lord. And keep us. So this Monday, we commit all that we are going to be doing this week, O Lord, to your hand. Father, lead and guide us, O Lord. Protect us. Provide for us. And keep us from all evil, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. At the Amen. end of this week, O Lord, we'll come back and give glory to your name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O Lord. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, children. Yes, sir. Pastor Matthew. <clears throat> Thank you, Mario. Okay, thank you for the two contributing this way. That's a match, your place. I'm a cool. Be a car, be a car, consider. Match is so. Okay, Pastor, you may just share the grace. Okay, sir. The grace. Yes, sir. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, we shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sir, Pastor, I will call you later today and tell you something, sir. Pastor Peter, thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Baba, thank you, my sister and the children, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you